who's with the group now? Why don't we all come around here and I'll tell you about where you are, but why don't you get away from the, the path so that you can let people come by. So you come, come over here on my side so people can. Okay, do any of you guys know anything about the battle? About Little Round Top and Gettysburg? Okay, well let me tell you a little bit about it today. You are currently on a hill called Little Round Top. Now to our left, we have Big Round Top. But even though that's a higher elevation hill, it was more important that the soldiers be here because they had a whole view of the entire valley where the fighting was going to be, begin later on July 2nd. So this strategically is the most important of the two hills. Now, around the middle of the day on July the 2nd, General Daniel Sickles, who commands the 3rd Corps of the Union Army, about 10,000 men, decides on his own, without direct permission from General Meade, to move his men forward in front of the Union line. What he's going to do, he's going to anchor the left of his line in Devil's Den, and that's that rock formation that you see in front of us. And then he's going to stretch his 10,000 men corps over this hill in front of us called Halks Ridge into those woods, which are called the Rose Woods, into a field called the Wheat Field, and all the way out to the Emmitsburg Road to an area called the Peach Orchard. This happens in the middle of the day on July the 2nd. Okay? And he's, he moves his men. Now, when General Meade hears about that, he is not very happy, but he decides he's not going to pull those troops back. He's going to leave them out there, but he's going to reinforce those troops with another corps, the 5th Corps, commanded by a man by the name of General George Sykes. So General Sykes is going to move his 5th Corps to support and help General Sickles out here in the front. And this all happens around the early part of the afternoon of July the second, the second day of the battle. Now, this area here where we're on right now, as I mentioned, is called Little Round Top. For a while, this hill was, was vacant. No troops were up here. So a general by the name of General Gouverneur Warren comes down here and he checks this hill out and he d discovers that there are, there are no men here. So what he will do is he will send a courier down to General Sickles and ask General Sickles for help. And General Sickles says, no, I can't help you. I can't spare any men. So then that courier goes over to the other general, General Sykes, and General Sykes says, see one of my other generals and you can have some of our men. So that courier will try to find another general by the name of General Barnes. He can't find that general, but he runs into a colonel by the name of Strong Vincent. And, Je and Colonel Vincent commands a brigade of a four regiments. Those regiments consist of the 16th Michigan, the 44th New York, the 83rd Pennsylvania, and the 20th Maine. And they comprise about, about 13 to 1,500 men. So at that point, Colonel Vincent decides that it's more important to come up this hill than go forward out to the front of the battlefield. So he takes his men and he leads them up a little round top and he gets here just before the Confederate attack begins. Now, the Confederate attack is gonna start over on that ridge behind that white barn off in the distance to our left and to the west, and that's called Warfield Ridge. So around four o'clock, the Confederate division commanded by General uh, John Bell Hood will lead about five to 6,000 Union Confederate soldiers towards the Union line. They'll attack Devil's Den first, and then begin their attack here at Little Round Top. Now, some of the regiments will go up the top of big round top and come around to the rear and attack the Union soldiers in the rear. That's where the 20th Maine is located. So they'll be fighting in the back, they'll be fighting on a little round top, and as I mentioned, because the Union soldiers are in Devil's Den, there's going to be fighting here in these rocks right in front of us. Okay? So fighting almost everywhere in this valley. Now, as the afternoon progresses, the fighting will begin to stretch into these woods, which are called the Rose Woods. And by the mid later part of the afternoon, it will begin to take place in a big 20-acre field called the Wheat Field, which is on the other side of this wood line. That fighting will be so fierce that the field will change hands six times, go back and forth, each side pushing the other side off. And that'll get so fierce that it'll change it, as I said, six different times. Now, by the end of the afternoon, the fighting will then occur over at the Peach Orchard when a second attack commanded by General Lafayette McClaws begins around 5 to 5.30 in the afternoon. So you had the first attack at 4 o'clock, 
Now you have a second attack of Confederates in the center of the battlefield at about 5 to 5.30. Now, by the end of the day, the, the fighting's going to extend all the way up the valley to the edge of Gettysburg. Now, what happens here in this part of the battlefield, the Yankees will be pushed out of Devil's Den and come back to these lines on Cemetery Hill. The soldiers in the woods and in the wheat field will be also driven back to this line. The Confederates, by the end of the day, will, will hold Devil's Den and they'll hold the west side of the Rosewoods and the wheat field, and they'll also capture the peach orchard. Now, what happens here on Little Round Top? Well, Little Round Top at one point looked like it was going to be taken, but another brigade commanded by General Stephen Wheat will come to save the day, and his four regiments will then push the Confederates off this hill so that Little Round Top will stay in Union hands. Now, I'm sure you've heard about the 20th Maine. It was commanded by General, by, excuse me, by Colonel uh, J Joshua Chamberlain. Colonel Chamberlain will hold the line in the rear and push the Confederates back off that rear of the Little Round Top, and the Union line holds here on Little Round Top and is safe during the battle. And that pretty much ends the fighting over here. The Union line will hold, Confederates will have those positions to the west, and the battle will continue up the valley at, as a stalemate until about 7.30, quarter to 8 when the battle finally ends over here.